Hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, Centel here. I know it's been quite a long time. It's been a couple years since I posted any videos on YouTube. Uh, if you are wondering, I haven't been up to much, just working, and I've been uh, Twitch streaming. So if you guys want to check me out there, it's uh, Twitch TV uh, forward slash Centel. So today I have a new device. I'd like to show you guys. It is the first look and unboxing because I learned from my past you don't do reviews on stuff you just open. So I will have a review uh, video later for that. But this is the iView 1760 AIO. Obviously, AIO stands for all in one. So it's like a laptop and tablet all together. So it comes in a brown box and then it comes in this white box. I guess the brown box just to uh, protect it from um, everything. So let me tell you a little bit about this. So it's 17 inches. I assume that's what the 17 is for. I haven't figured out what the 60 is. Uh, I'm assuming it's like the series because the last one was 1700, but I don't know why they went with 60. Uh, I tried to look, see if I could find anything, but honestly, there is nothing. So, <clears throat> it is a 17 inch screen. 17.3, if you want to get exact. Um, it has Windows 10. It has a 32 uh, gigabyte uh, hard drive. I'm not exactly sure what type, but you can upgrade it. To an SSD. Yeah, get down a little bit. So this is it. Then open the box. Uh, switch it around. Voila. Oh, tight corners. Ugh. All right. So it comes with a quick start guide, which I would assume how to set up your keyboard, mouse, system setup. Uh, takes 10 hours to fully charge if you're interested in buying one. And uh, you get 10% off your next purchase of any IV thing. Not sure. If, I don't know. I might look to see what they got. I'm pretty sure they got all kinds of different stuff. I think I've seen light bulbs and I don't know if they make a phone. Highly doubt it. Well, that's some, some pretty tough uh, packing material right there. It's foam, but it's really it's tough foam. All right, so straight in. Take the box out, or take just this is just the laptop, or all in one, or whatever you want to say. Um, one thing I do wish they would do is have a screen protector it does have that uh, protective uh, peel away stuff I might just keep it on for now and just to see what happens um, it's got a little kickstand and it looks like it's adjustable every way you want to put it so I was kind of worried about this at first I'm like is it gonna be like a one mode is it gonna be like a click mode but no, it looks like you can have it any way you want it. If you want it all the way there, Let's see. That's that's the max it goes. Which I mean, technically, if I'm if I'm gonna have it like this, you know, it might work that way. If you wanted to use like the keyboard on the, the screen itself. Wow, that's a really really wide screen too yeah. like it's almost bigger than my monitor it's nice it's a 1080p um, screen if you're wondering in the back it has a LAN so Ethernet uh, US two USBs three USBs HDMI there's your power um, 
comes with a card. I'm not sure if that's, yeah, that's that's your SIM card. Um, I'm assuming that you pop off this panel to get to the hard drive if you want to place another one in. Um, it's designed in the United States, assembled in China, obviously. It's got a 2600 milliamp uh, battery. And uh, there's your phone or uh, headset jack. Just comes with one though, so I guess I don't know. Mine, mine's USB, so I don't think I'm gonna take it anywhere. So I bought this for uh, coding. I'm gonna start doing like Unity uh, using Bolt and um, just programming on it uh, when I'm out places you know kind of bored um, so everything else this does have a Celeron dual processor it's 1.1 to 2.4 gigahertz you know that's not amazing but I don't assume you're gonna be playing like PUBG or stuff I will try to do uh, Fortnite and League of Legends and just have a test to see how they do um, FPS wise I think it just has a regular internal Intel graphics card um, it does come with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage which I assume is uh, integrated the storage is integrated so yeah you can add uh, SSD I would not put a hard drive just because regular hard drive, you know, produces heat where SSD, you know, there's no heat to it. Um, it does have Bluetooth uh, 4.0 and the Wi-Fi is a 802.11bgn, you know, whatever. I mean, that I, I don't think that really matters to the average person. So uh, here it is again, you know, it's kind of reflective right now you can see everything you can see a, a headset my mic without the without the uh, pop filter so hopefully I'm not popping too much um, it does come with a 2.0 megapixel camera and there is oh so here's your power uh, power button on off and I'm not exactly sure, but I assume that's like a reset button, you know, hit it once and it resets your computer. Hopefully we won't have too much of an issue with that. So I'm going to set this aside right now and I'm going to get out the other things in the box. There's some cardboard. Hope you guys like, like my shirt. Do I look like I care? I do care. I just wear it because it's comfortable. It's a nice material. So here, you, here we go with the uh, power block. You know, it's a little tiny thing, which I was hoping, anyways. Um, I mean, that's that's pretty much what that is. I'm probably seen a billion of those. Uh, it would be nice if it had a ground on it but I guess that's not needed kind of like a cell phone charger uh, here's the user manual for it I'm not sure if you have to register for the warranty and I'm not exactly sure what the warranty is yeah, I think it's one or two year I'm not positive on that um, let me read real quick Oh, by the way, here's their other products. They got a, they got a vacuum, smart vacuum, a pop-up zoo. Okay. They have smart bulbs, smart speakers, wearables, converter boxes, small PCs. Okay. Awesome. We don't really need to know all this. Let's see. Warranty. Obviously, there's nothing in the table of contents about warranty, so let's just throw that to aside. 
I'm assuming this is going to be the keyboard and mouse, potentially. Um, there we go. <clears throat> Here's the mouse. That is... That, that's, that's tiny. Um, I mean, I guess it depends what type of person you are. Uh, I mean, if you're like the claw person, you know, it might be perfect. If you're the, you know, the palmer, uh, it might look a little big on your hand. Um, has a battery and then a CPI and then a on and off, um, everything. And then there's a sensor. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz optical mouse so uh, that's it I'm probably not gonna use it might give it away or something I don't know give it to someone that needs a mouse but for some reason I feel like this is integrated into it I'm not sure I'm not positive I don't know if it's a Bluetooth mouse or not I don't I don't really use much Bluetooth stuff for my headset. All right, here's a keyboard. Uh, the keyboard is, it's a little small too, but I mean, I'm a gamer, so, you know, it's a little difficult. I'm used to mechanical as well. Uh, it is a little raised, but the buttons feel like they do pretty well. Uh, the space bar does feel a little, a little funky, but maybe that's because I think a lot of people are gonna, so they don't hit the space bar too easily. Actually, it feels like you can barely tap it in the spaces. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be using this. I might actually buy a Bluetooth. Um, mechanical keyboard just because you know I don't really like change I mean my old laptop my Alienware laptop was like this so I don't know maybe I'll use it maybe not depends but that's the keyboard that's the mouse that comes with it uh, the keyboard is pretty decent the mouse you know it's kind of cheap and small so I don't know and the last item in the box is this if seal is broken check what check contents okay well looks pretty good to me and their seals are broken and that's just tape so it comes with carrying case as well and quite frankly uh, this case is I mean, there's, wait, okay, there's no handles to it, which is fine, uh, it's got two zippers, um, okay, so, tablet goes in there, um, other content here, and then accessories in these next two pockets, I assume, uh, I guess you could, because the tablet has the little strap. Uh, I guess you could put the tablet in the middle and then put like books or whatever over here if you're a college student or whatever. But uh, you also have. Oh, wait, there's a handle. Haha! <laughs> Look at that. Alright, that makes more sense. And these are also pockets too, so you can go inside those. Um. So, overall, everything looks pretty nice. I mean, the carrying case looks perfect. I'm going to put my keyboard in. I'm trying to fit perfectly down in the little side pouches, too. And, uh, I don't know where I'd put the power. Um, it does also have two holes for you know, strap if you wanted it. I'll just put that in there. 
and then we'll get the beauty out again so like I said it's pretty good um, honestly I think it's worth the money I paid uh, three hundred and fifty dollars for it and if you if you're gonna carry it like this and do stuff it's a little heavy it is it is a little heavy and it's probably gonna get hot here and on the two little sides where uh, it's supposed to, actually this whole back's probably probably gonna get hot if you're using it too long. Um, but yeah, if I could start it up, okay, it does. It will start up. Intel inside. It is a little glary. I'm not sure if that's because of the little coating on it. Honestly, I don't know if you're supposed to peel that off or not. Yeah, you are. I'm pretty sure you can. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me go anywhere. It's going to put me on the... Welcome to Windows, do all this stuff, meet Cortana and everything. And with the CPU, it is going to be a little slow. And if the battery is semi-dead or dying, it's going to be even slower. So, let's just give it another second or two before just putting it down and saying, alright, it's done. And yeah, we're just gonna set it aside and do all that later. Ugh. So, uh, do I recommend it? I mean, obviously, looking for uh, looking at it for the first time. I mean, it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty nice. It did finally show up. Uh, yes. It's gonna take forever, so I'm just gonna put that there. Um, I'm assuming the installation will probably take, you know, 15. Hi, Cortana. Okay, so uh, right here and right here are speakers. I mean, they're not great if you speakers. Need screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time but, to turn on narrator. Okay, enough info. Let's dig in. Let's see if there's a... I assume there's a microphone built in. Let me actually look. Quick. Your region is set to the United States. Yes. Is that right? United yes. States. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it does. Awesome. So, it has a microphone as well. So, Windows 10, obviously. And that's Cortana uh, speaking. So, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I will do a, a review uh, video after using it a while. Do some gameplay, see how it looks, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, the regular review stuff. So, anyways, if you want to check out the iView 1760 AIO, um, it's $349. Uh, you can use my link below. It'll take you to Amazon. You can purchase it right there. And uh, I've looked at other places, and I, I can't find anything any cheaper unless you want to use or open box one. Then... You can try to go elsewhere. But anyways, guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. And Centel out. Goodbye. Have a nice day.